rooms or anything like the lobby, they should cut their rates. They should probably repair that. Want it by the hour, or for the whole night? Oh, um... You. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So, now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Beast is a proud man, Bigby. He wants to do right by me, and he... He just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. You should really tell Beast. He's worried about you. I will, I will. I just need to in my own time. By the way, thanks for covering for me. So, what are you doing here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie, Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh, oh, yes, the, the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Sorry. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't Snow and went about my business. Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you, that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. Listen, Bigby, I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's, it's not like Beast would ever see you report. It's just... You're asking me to lie. Not lie, just not include my name. Just say you talk to the clerk or something. You'll do what you have to. I just want you to know that that would help me. Well, here we are. Which one was it? You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. 
You have to let me in there. This is the room, 207. But I... This is the room Lily was in. Oh, fine. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, shit. Beast? Big B? How could you do this to me? No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. I love... It's not what you think. Please. You're cheating on me? With him? No, no, Beast. I promise I'm not. I'm helping him. That's all. I'll bet. I'm sure you help each other just great. I know what this place is. This is a murder investigation. She's helping me. Stop lying to me! What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me. There's nothing going on. I'm mad. Uh, hey. Bastard! I guess I finally see you for who you are. Stop! Stop it! You told me you hadn't seen her, you fucking liar! Listen to your wife. Just calm down and... Beast! What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me! She's my wife, Bigby! I told you! to the door you can't just act like this whenever Stand you Stand back you you don't want to see this well we got the door open <gasps> oh my god don't touch anything is this is this lily met her client here mr smith whoever he is and then must have happened right here jesus oh, last night yeah i was on shift last night on shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work at the front desk. Was anyone acting suspicious? Maybe moving a heavy piece of luggage, or... Uh, he got the body out of here somehow. Jesus Christ! No, no, I didn't see anything like that. It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. I can't believe this. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. Looks like she was lying down when she was killed. Flowers were already here. How do you know that? Blood pattern. Also, I'd say the body was dragged off the foot of the bed. There. The body. Jesus. You could say she. Poor girl. 
I just can't even imagine. We shouldn't even be in here. Do you smell something? No. Just apple. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently not. What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Mundy version of her story, anyway. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Huh. What is it? This picture and these notes about varieties of apples and the apple over there. I think our Mr. Smith might have a food fetish. I see what you mean. I guess the question then would be does he like to eat during sex or during murder? Either way, the guy's a grade A freak. Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Hmm. Oh no. What? What is it? I think he made up the bed to match the coffin in the picture. Flowers, too. He'd have had Lily lie down just like this. You mean just before? In the story, that's when someone comes to kiss her. That's our Mr. Smith. Who we know is a total nutcase. Oh my god, that poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... We can't know the answer to that. Every situation is different. Yeah. He must have been so scared. Someone's been rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her and then and then he took it back off. No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? This is the same dress as the one in the book about snow. I think Smith was dressing Lily up in it to recreate the snow from the book. You're right. It's the same dress. It's another match to what's in the book. God, I'm just having trouble processing all of this. This guy has some kind of weird snow obsession, but then there's this other stuff, too. Apparently, he's got a food fetish. I'm not sure what to make of that. At least he didn't eat her. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. Okay. 
pictures of the dead girl? How do you know? I'm in this one. It was taken last winter. Oh, no. Bigby. This kind of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand-in for Snow is gone now, so... The next step closer. What is it? It's... <gasps> Crane. He could be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. Bigby, or I'll take care of it for you. Jesus Christ, Bigby. Is that you? Thank you. 